Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 58. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find indexes used by a query without getting explain plan. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to find indexes used by a query without getting explain plan. Suppose if you execute a query, so you after the execution, you want to find out like whether it used that particular index or not. Uh, there is a few restriction though like we don't want to read uh, we don't want to create any explain tables <coughs> and we there is no need to re-execute the query so uh, the trivial solution uh, for uh, the problem will be getting an explain plan so we don't want to do that so that is that is the most interesting part uh, about this uh, tips so what is the solution so the solution is use mon get section object routine this uh, Routine is available in version 10.5 fix pack 4 and the way it works is based on the executable ID from the mon get package cage statement routine. So whenever a query gets executed, it will be there in the package cage. So you can get the executable ID of that particular query from the routine mon get package cage statement and pass that executable ID to the mon get section object routine. It will display it is it will not only display the indexes it will also display if there is any triggers stored procedures used by that particular query and uh, please refer info center for detailed information because there are multiple arguments uh, that needs to be passed to this monget section object uh, it will be a very useful routine like you because it removes the overhead of creating the explain tables populating them formatting the output and all that and also uh, like there is no need to set some register like you know explain registers and other things or some specific tools like db2 explain for example so you you need not use those tools and things so it will be like a very simple <coughs> query based execution right so it's the most simple thing you can do so let's look at few examples okay <coughs> so here i am starting the instance i'm connecting to the test database i'm creating a table staff with ID, name, salary, columns, and I'm loading with some 500,000 sample records, and I'm creating an index IDX on the table on the column uh, ID. D I do the run stats and I flush the package cache. Okay, so I clear out the package cache. Then I execute three queries. So as you can see, the first query is select ID from table order by ID column. So it should be like we can just, you know, uh, assume like looking at the query and the index, we can say it will be a pure index based access. And the, the next query is select net cell from staff. So it should be a pure table based access like table scan operation. And the third query, we can see that it will use both the index and the table. So because it is having ID command name. So for if it is using the index, it will get the ID. Uh, <clears throat> ID column for the name column it will go and use the uh, it has to access the table so both the index and the table will be accessed here so I execute these three queries okay and I select the executable ID from the mon get package cage statement so when I run this mon get package cage statement routine I'll get to know what are all the statement text and the executable ID for the corresponding text so I can get these three statement executable ID pass that information to mon get section object so you can see here i'm passing the executable id here to mon get section object so it's a big huge id that we need to pass okay so it will tell what are all the object type and object schema uh, and the object name right so let us uh, look in action so here i have an image explaining that so i have run the select query ID staff order by ID net cell from staff and ID command name from staff and after that I am getting mon get package cage statement so you can see all the three statements are here uh, ID command name ID from staff net cell from staff and each of them are having corresponding executable IDs now what I'll do is mon get section object I pass the ID 29,000 so 29,000 is for this select net cell from staff so it should be a pure table based access so you can see here the object type is table harish dot staff right that is the output of the mon get section object query similarly you can see mon get section object this time i am passing 98000 which is select id from staff order by id so which means that it will be a pure index based access so you can see that the object type is index right and the next query is i am passing 
सेवन थाउजेंड सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड सो एंडिंग विथ सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड सेलेक्ट आई डी कमर नेम फ्रॉम स्टाफ वेर आई डी इज बिटवीन थाउजेंड एंड फाइव थाउजेंड ऑर्डर बाई आई डी सो दिस विल बी लाइक मोर लाइक बोथ इंडेक्स एंड टेबल सो बिकॉज फॉर द इंडेक्स फॉर द आई डी कॉलम इट कैन यूज द इंडेक्स फॉर द नेम कॉलम इट हेस्ट गो एंड डू द टेबल एक्सेस राइट सो इट इज यूजिंग बोथ द इंडेक्स एंड द टेबल राइट सो देर देर इज नो इन्वॉलमेंट ऑफ re-executing the query there is no involvement of creating explain plans populating them formatting the information all this overhead so you can just simply get the executable id from the package cage pass it to the mongodb section object you have the dependencies so it's as simple as that hope this information was useful to you um, thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel db2lew academy see you in the next video tutorial thanks bye bye